the needs and benefits of food preservation. Have you come across wafers which are smelly and stale? Have you seen bananas or mangoes which have turned black or brown? Have you had a vegetable preparation in your tiffin which gives out a bad smell during lunch break? Food spoilage means the original nutritional value, texture and flavour of the food has been damaged and the food has become unsuitable for eating. Reasons for spoilage of food Most foods are vulnerable to spoilage due to High content of water and nutrients Yeast molds and bacteria take nutrients from food to grow and multiply Activity of food enzymes They cause undesirable change in colour, texture and flavour Reactions with oxygen Atmospheric oxygen can react with food causing rancidity or colour changes. What happens if we eat spoiled food? Will we get allergies or will we fall sick by food poisoning? Well, we cannot eat spoiled food. We should not throw away spoiled food. So what do we do? We should try to preserve our food. Let's see how. There are two methods for the preservation of foods. Physical methods of preservation and chemical methods of preservation. Preservation also helps in storing food for a long time. We put preservatives in our food items to keep them fresh for longer durations. High salt and high sugar mixtures preserve food because they absorb water from the microorganisms causing them to shrivel up and eventually die. Citric and ascorbic acids can inhibit the action of the enzyme which turns the surfaces of cut apples and potatoes brown. Antioxidants inhibit the oxidation of food constituents. Let's look at the physical methods. Vacuuming It removes all air from packaged food making it airtight. This prevents spoilage by air oxidation. Freezing It stops most chemical and biological processes that slowly spoil vegetables. Drying It reduces the water content of food and prevents the breeding of bacteria in our food. Thus, it stops the rotting of food. Smoking The combination of heat to dry the food without cooking it and the addition of aromas from the smoke preserves the food. Burial This process can preserve food due to a variety of factors such as lack of light, lack of oxygen and cool temperatures. Burial may be combined with other methods such as salting. Pasteurization Heating the food stuff at high temperature and then immediately cooling it. This kills the microorganisms possibly present in the food. Canning This involves heating up both the jar and the food to kill the germs and then sealing the food within the jars. Based on physical and chemical methods of preservation, mango pulp can be preserved in the form of arm papad. 
Let's see what they're doing. Also, try to identify different methods for preservation of food. Step 1. Choose the most ripe mangoes. This helps us get maximum pulp. Take the mango pulp in a large pot. Remove the fibers from the pulp. Then add jaggery and sugar in equal amounts to the pulp. This is a chemical method of high sugar preservation. Spread the pulp in thin layers over the mat. Leave it to dry in the sun. Drying is a physical method of preservation. In the evening, cover the spread with a sari. This prevents dust and mud from settling on the food. Repeat the process until the jelly grows a few centimeters thick. By using different methods, we can preserve mangoes in the form of pickles, chutney, chicky, and eat mangoes around the year. Some other simple methods to store food items for a few days are Boiling milk Putting cooked rice in a bowl and keeping it in a container with water Wrapping green coriander in a damp cloth. Onion and garlic can be kept in dry open places. Meat can be salted and put in a freezer. Vegetables can be washed, sliced and kept in the fridge. So, what did we learn? We learnt about the methods for preserving food. There are two methods, physical and chemical. Physical methods involve vacuuming, freezing, drying, burial, smoking, pasteurization and canning. Chemical methods involve high salt and high sugar addition, citric acid and ascorbic acid storage and addition of antioxidants. Food gets spoiled because of high content of water and nutrients or the activity of food enzymes. The advantages of food preservation are it saves money and minimizes food wastage. It prevents spreading of food contamination. And not to forget, it keeps us healthy. Food spoilage. It means the original nutritional value, texture, flavor of the food are damaged and the food becomes unsuitable to eat. Rancidity. When food containing oil and fat comes in contact with the surrounding, oxidation takes place. Due to this, bad smell and change in taste of food may occur. Food poisoning. It refers to the presence of acute illness due to the indigestion of contaminated or spoiled food. It can lead to infectious diarrhea. Contamination It refers to the presence of harmful chemicals and microorganisms in food which can cause consumer illness. 